It's good to be back in Cincinnati. What's up, New York? Don't just write out your songs. Write out what you're gonna say in between the songs. Hey, in this video, I wanna help you learn what to say to your audience at a gig. My name's Chris, also known as Manifest. I've played over a thousand shows. I've spoken in schools, bars, jails, stadiums, you name it. And I've learned how to connect with my audience in a more personal way. Because uh, after doing so many shows, some with my iPod, some with the DJ, a ton with the full band. So I've had to learn how to connect with my audience. And so when you stay to the end, I'm also going to give you a really cool bonus tip that I learned when I was in France that's really going to help you and connect and bond with your audience more. So you want to stay tuned for that. The first thing I want to share is when you're starting the show. Maybe you're walking on stage. What, what do you say there? What's up, party people? How y'all feeling tonight? You looking good out there? It's good to be back in Cincinnati. What's up, New York? You know, call out the state, you know what I mean? Give them some, some good energy. Right after the first song, maybe you've got some interlude music playing. Maybe you say, hey guys, it's good to be back in whatever city, you know, and, and connect with them. Hey guys, I hope you love that song. Yo, we're good to be back in your city. We just ate at this restaurant. Or can you guys tell us any good restaurants to eat at or something like that? Depending, of course, how big the crowd is. But what's something you can connect with that will bond you even more to the audience? Maybe after your first, second, maybe even your third song, if you're into sports or whatnot, or they're a heavy sports team and you know that they are, wear the jersey or wear um, a t-shirt of their big sports team and then after whatever song take off your jacket and you're guaranteed to get some screens and some howls from the crowd and again this is just bonding right and one of my favorite favorite ways to connect with fans is if you maybe have a more serious song or and, and it could be a hype song whatever but it was inspired by something um, I have a song called every time you run and so either before or after, I say, hey guys, this song means a lot to me because it was about my, my dad. Um, I lost him to suicide when I was five years old. And so I went through a lot of things. And to be honest, guys, I, I would have shooken this microphone to bits. I used to be so nervous, so scared. And I never thought I'd see myself singing in a million years. But I believe that God likes to take the most unlikely people and do amazing things with them. People like you who are even watching this video right now, God wants to do something amazing with you. So that's why I don't want you to give up. And I hope this song just inspires you tonight. It means a lot to us. It's called Every Time You Run. Every time you run. And, and when we start, we start singing it, right? This next song is just going out to anyone who's ever thought about giving up. It's called Every Time You Run. I encourage you to keep going and I hope this song speaks to you. But every time I share my story, I'll never forget one of my managers saying, Chris, you always want to share your story, share your zero to hero story, share your, your struggle, share the pain, because that's when people lean in. They want to connect with your story, bro. And if you noticed, I'm changing my, my tone, right? Like earlier, my tone was here. And then when I started talking about something more serious, I came in and, and got a little bit more serious with it to kind of bring it down a little bit, right? Big question as well is where... Do you sell merch? When's a good time to, to connect with merch? Well, if you want to share your story and then sing that song, well, then after you sing that song, say something like, hey, guys, I hope you love that song. It means so much to us. It's on our album, The Chase. You can get it back there after the show. We'd love, love to sign it for you. In fact, if um, you buy a T-shirt, we'll just give you that album for free because we want you to have this music so much. Did you hear what I just did there? We love this music so much. We believe in the CD. We just want to give it to you for free when you buy a t-shirt. And what happens when people buy t-shirts and they wear it, especially that night? You can start getting like a table rush because other people are seeing it and, and want to do the same thing. And then you start to get that domino effect. And you're also giving away something for free. Was that sleazy? The way I did that after the song? No, it was totally cool. Hey, if you guys love that song, it's on this album. You can get it back here and you don't have to do the free thing, but that's just another way to just drive more sales because some people don't want the CD as much as they want merch. It just depends, right? Or hey, get the CD and we'll sign it for you after the show. That's another great way to engage them. Another really cool thing is if you don't want to wear the jersey, 
is wear your shirt, right? And of course, you don't want to be cheesy or lame, but man, sometimes if, if you like the shirt, like there's a lot of shirts that we've designed that are cool, we try not to design shirts that we don't like, right? So design something that's cool and wear it, and maybe it's the name of the song. One of my most popular songs is, is No Plan B, so we have a No Plan B t-shirt. After the song, maybe, or before, take off the shirt. This next song is called No Plan B. Make sure you get our new shirt. Our designer from England did this. Or we teamed up with uh, this guy in Poland to design this shirt. Or wherever, California, wherever designer, share a story. You know what I'm saying? It's always good to share the story so that, that people connect. But you want to make sure you're saying something in between songs. To engage people. To have some fun. Right? To have some fun and connect with them. So that you can build that rapport and have some fun. Where are all the ladies at tonight? Make some noise. Where are all the men at tonight? Make some noise. The more you get them to do, the more they'll engage. Great way to get people and fans engaged is teach them the chorus before you sing the song, right? And you can't assume everybody know, knows you, right? So, hey, this next song is called 4321. Give me a 4321. Four, three, two, one. Say it louder like it was New Year's Eve. Four, three, two, one. Because during my song, we there's a part where it's just very clear. Four, three, two, one. Sometimes you can say, hey guys, this next song is whatever. Give me a oh, 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 oh. again. Oh, 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 oh. And get them singing along a little bit, right? So that, that when the song comes on and you're, and you're singing that part of the song, you can just be like, oh, and they're, and, they're, and they're singing it, right? And then you've taught them the chorus, and now the chances of that song going off way better because you took just a few seconds to get them to sing, and they're getting your personality, and then you say, oh, you guys sound beautiful tonight, man. A couple last things I want to share with you guys is don't be afraid to talk about your merch multiple times. Just do it in a cool way. Hey, have you guys got our new album yet? Oh, it's coming out. <clears throat> you can pre-order it in the back. Or, hey guys, make sure you go get, get a new album. We're going to be hanging out after the show. We'd love to get pictures with you guys, sign you guys, give you some fist bumps. Maybe have a drink with you. We're going to be chilling out with the band. We'd love to meet you. Hey, this is our last song. Boom. And, 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 and you go into it. But just know that, like, have fun, man. Don't get nervous. And the more you do this, the more you practice this, like, don't just write out your songs. Write out what you're going to say in between the songs. Like, we, we, we focus on the set list so much, but then we don't focus on the in-between. And then so you got all these awkward moments because you don't know what to say. You haven't rehearsed that part. You haven't tried different things. And don't take yourself so seriously. When we would make mistakes and, and things would happen, like sound systems going out, whatever, it's knowing how to connect with the crowd that had us win them over even more. So are you ready for the last bonus lesson? You've seen it a lot with bands, but you should do this with your band, whatever artist. You get, hey guys, before we do this last song, we want to get everybody really, really, really close. We want to get a picture with you guys. And so everyone come really close, put your hands up and, and do that band shot where you got the crowd behind you, right? And then to take it even further, say, hey, this photo, you can get this photo of us all hanging out together at the back. Just give us your name and email address and we'll send it to you or we're selling it on our merch store and you can actually get a printout of it if you want and you can do a print on demand as a poster even but just even doing that connecting with them they're posting it on social media you're posting it on social media and plus you're building an email list which is massive oh my goodness I hope this has been valuable to you guys. Make sure you hit subscribe. And also, I want to invite you to our next five-day challenge to grow your fan base. There's a link below this where I show a ton of strategies. I go live for five days straight with you um, and answer your questions when you get a VIP ticket. Go to 10xyourfanbase.com forward slash live challenge. Fear is always the loudest when you're trying to do something great.